Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on the Legend Lost Sector, the empty jug on the Tangle Tron. Now, it's dropping exotic gauntlets, and two of the pieces that came in with Season of the Lost are exotic gauntlets. As you can see here, the nothing manacles for the Warlock, and the no backup plans for the Titan, which I will be uploading the Titan run right after this one. The nothing manacles, were, they were a bit of a staple in D1, very good. The the scout grenades, I think, were a little bit better in Destiny 1 than they are in Destiny 2. And as you can see, you gain an additional scout grenade, and it enables tracking for the grenade. So I actually think there would be a lot of good uses in Destiny 2 for this. Now, as you can see, I'm doing it on the Warlock. I am doing it on Dawnblade, bottom tree, and that gives me Phoenix Dive so I can get my health back. I'm using the Ignition Code Grenade Launcher on my primary, which has got Blinding Grenades and Vorpal on it. I'm using Ariana's Vow because we've got Barriers and we've got Overloads in this Lost Sector. Fallen Guillotine, I'll be obviously utilising that for the Overload Champions. Uh, so Now, I've got some of the wrong mods on here. I was going to use a Sniper instead of Ignition Code, so I never changed my mods. They are changed in the Titan run, though, to better reflect the run. Anti-barrier auto rifle because I was going to run an auto rifle instead of Ariana's. Uh, but I really will do everything possible rather than run an auto rifle for barrier champions. It's just... I can't think of anything worse, to be fair, unless it was sidearm. Sidearm anti-barrier might be worse. Uh, arc damage resist. You could probably change concussive for sniper damage resist. It worked better with the Titan. Enhanced sword scavenger. And there's that sniper scavenger for the sniper I don't have on. Passive guard obviously will allow me to do damage to the, the overloads without taking a whole heap of damage. And trust me, this first overload, he, he will run if you don't do a couple of things beforehand. So as soon as you get in, you are going to be faced with an overload champion. What I do is I throw a grenade and then I hit him with a grenade launcher shot which stuns him. Now when I say stuns him, it just moves him back. It like physically flinches him. It doesn't stun him in any other way. That allows me to get the sword shots off that I need in order to disrupt him. Now what I'm going to do is, because there's, there's, there's quite a few snipers in here, is I'm just going to clear some of the snipers. I fired a grenade launcher shot just trying to suppress any ads that were around in the area you see there sniper over there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to peek here now normally when you hit him there he will go to the left and then he'll come back out into a position where you can take him and there we go the barriers down really easily so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to fire off some grenade launcher shots just just trying to hit random pieces of stuff in the area that uh, aren't enemies just to try and blend and, and maybe do an extra damage and then what once i feel like I've done everything I can with the blinding nades, especially the ones I really want are these sniper guys. If I can take the snipers down with the Arianas, because really now I'm just going to need a couple more shots just for the. T there's two more barriers to. Uh, yeah, two more barriers to deal with. Uh, and one overload. One overload, two barriers. So all in, there's three barriers and two overloads. Plus, you've got the boss, and the boss the boss can be a little bit annoying here. So, it does tell you that there's arc shields in here. I'm going to bypass needing arc at all, because uh, the sword will go through the shield. So, I'm just going to activate this, and then as soon as this captain comes out, the only shield in here, I will just... Now, the sword, the sword can be a little bit annoying, because it's... Tracking on swords sometimes leaves a lot to be desired. So I'm just having a look, see, because I want I want to have us close to full heavy in the boss room. Now the boss room can be hairy if you don't do it. If you well, I suppose I'm not really going to say it. if you do it the way I do it, then it won't be hairy. But if you literally if if, if you follow, obviously you're watching this guide, so you're probably going to do that anyway. But the way I found to do it, I've done this a couple of times. And this was kind of, this is the, the strategy that I settled on and it worked perfectly when I'd done it again on 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 the Titan. You've got those ads, you've got a couple of dogs here, there's one in this little canister. as you can see I just fired a grenade in and killed them. And then just wait for the next couple of dogs to kind of, kind of uh, come out and then just hit them with grenade launcher shots. The reason why I kind of persevered with the grenade launcher, whereas I could have just walked up and meleeed them 
was with the I, I, the hope of dropping some heavy ammo. It didn't happen. So let's hope we get some in here. So there'll be three enemies in here when you get in. You see there, I got heavy right off the bat. Now, on the left, the ads on the left are going to come out first. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this little kind of blast, blast barrier as a little bit of cover. It's not really cover. It's just... I, the, I don't want the overload to just get free shots on me and you can see there that the overload tries to act it but you can you can just take them down pretty easily and then what you're going to get is you're going to get dogs and a barrier from this side now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and suppress the dogs it doesn't always work because one dog comes out and you know so what I'm doing here is I'll, I'll kill that kill that dog and then we just want to break the barrier shield now with the Arianas, it is, and it's just one hit in here. Because I, I think solar damage has increased in here. So it's just one hit on Ariana. So now I'm going to do the same thing as I've done with the Overload. I'm just going to put a, 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 a rift down here. I'm not really too bored about crits at this point. Uh, I just want to break this, the, the champion shield. And then I can just go ham with the super and you can see I'm actually actively trying to hit the boss and there you go boss died from the super so did all the rest of the ads because the super will in the, the, the length of the super increases on kills and with the helmet I forgot to mention that I have the Don Chorus exotic helmet on that increases the burn and down and tracking of the super now I actually got quite a, a few exotics. I've done this three or four times just to get the run done. This was one of the only runs, I think. I got done four four runs, and I got three exotics from doing it. So the exotic drop rate seems really high for these legend law sectors. So get in here while this is the law sector and get it done. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll put the Titan run up right after this. I hope you've enjoyed this run. I hope this helps you get your nothing manacles. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.